फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द ट्राइब्यूनल रिलाइड फर्स्टली अपॉन सर्टेन ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ दिस कोर्ट इन पॉपुलर टू एंड सेकेंडली दैट पी डब्ल्यू वन हैड नो अथॉरिटी टू एडमिट एनी फैक्ट टू द डेट्रीमेंट ऑफ द स्टेट लाइक वाइज द ट्राइब्यूनल रिजेक्टेड अदर डॉक्यूमेंट्री एविडेंस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एग्जिबिट ए इलेवन एंड ए फोर्टीन एज वेल एज एग्जिबिट ए सिक्स एंड ए सेवन एज इनसफिशियंट टू प्रूव दैट द डिस्प्यूटेड प्रॉपर्टीज वर प्रिंसिपली प्लांटेड विद रबर कॉफी और कार्डेम इन द फाइनल एनालिसिस द ट्राइब्यूनल वेंट बाय द फैक्ट दैट द डिस्प्यूटेड प्रॉपर्टीज वर कवर्ड बाय द मद्रास एक्ट इमिडिएटली बिफोर द अपॉइंटेड डेट इट कॉन्सिक्वेंटली हेल्ड दैट पॉपुलर एस्टेट्स फेल्ड टू ब्रिंग देयर केस अंडर एनी ऑफ द क्लोजेज टू सेक्शन टू एफ वन वन ऑफ द वेस्टिंग एक्ट दैट इज द एक्सक्लूजनरी पार्ट एंड देयर फोर फेल्ड टू प्रूव दैट एनी पार्ट ऑफ सच प्रॉपर्टीज वर एस्टेट्स मेंट फॉर द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ कॉफी रबर कार्डेम एट्सेट्रा Aggrieved by the tribunal's order, popular estates preferred an appeal. The High Court, in the impugned judgment, recounted the entire proceedings, particularly the judgment of this court in Popular II and the decision in Kunjanum Anthony Supra. It gave certain weight and credence to the observations and findings of the board. and held that the land sealing proceedings were not res judicata in the proceedings under the vesting act but constituted a valid piece of evidence the impugned judgment relied upon the judgment in kunjanum antonis case supra that until a contrary state of affairs is shown to exist the order of the board would have to be given due weight the high court observed that the excess land automatically vests with the state like in the private forest vesting under section 31 of the vesting act the purpose of or intent of both enactments is to distribute excess lands to landless agricultural laborers the high court was of the view that the state never alleged that the board's order was obtained under fraud but rather that it was passed after considering all statutory formalities the board noted the high court rendered findings with respect to the nature of the land as on the appointed date of the KLR act that is 1st january 1970 the appointment date for the vesting act was 10th may 1971 the high court held that there is not much difference between the two dates in point of time and that there was nothing on record to suggest that the land uses had changed in between proceeding with its analysis on the evidence on record the court took note of the title deeds exhibit a37 to a40 and the balance sheets and profit and loss account exhibit a59 to a64 to show that popular estates was earning agricultural income from the land before the appointed date and that it maintained regular balance sheet and profit and loss account the high court was of the opinion that the notification issued on 8th july 1977 ultimately 
led to the state establishing that only 100 hectares were private forest. It was also stated that exhibit A 27 that is the notification dated 22nd July 1987 was issued after demarcating the land under section 6 and taking those 100 hectares as included in the 1534.40 acres purchased by the firm after 9 years when legal proceedings were pending. Exhibit A65 is the accounts ledger for 1970-71 which showed that there was cultivation in the relevant accounting year. There were other letters in the form of exhibits that is exhibit A66, A69 and A70 which showed that labor authorities such as the labor commissioner and provident fund authorities were involved with respect to labor unrest in the estate. Exhibit A67 and A68 were addressed to the agricultural income tax officer and exhibit A71 and A72 were letters addressed to the sales tax officer. These also showed that some labor disputes in the estate starting from 1983 existed and that production had slowed down. It was only after this that exhibit A27 notification dated 22nd August 1987 was issued. The high court was of the opinion that all these documents clearly showed that the entire area other than the 100 hectares of land earlier notified by notification dated 8th July 1977 were not private forests on the appointed date but exempted in view of the definition of private forest. Stop.